morning youtubers 315 in the morning at the state of California how are y'all doing out there I'm here to wish another actor a happy birthday he's been in so many movies and I'm still trying to accumulate every movie he has <clears throat> give it up for Lawrence John Fishburn the third happy birthday to Lawrence Fishburn today he just turned 63 years old and I'm still watching some of his movies not some I'm actually I'm still watching his movies I still have to get some other ones of his which is cornbread Earl cornbread and me cornbread Earl and me actually that's what it's called cornbread and Earl and me that's the movie I got to get in my collection including the cotton club and um school days it's another Spike Lee film Lawrence Fishburne's in it and then Red Heat with James Belushi and Arnold Schwarzenegger there's a lot of movies of Lawrence Fishburne he has been in. He's been in so many classics, including What's Love Got to Do With It. He plays as Ike Turner. And of course, Furious Styles from Boys in the Hood, which I'm about to show. Check that out. This is a really dope movie, especially with, you know, Ice Cube and Morris Chestnut, Cuba Gooding Jr. <clears throat> Classic movie. And he does play as a strict father in this film, where he prevents, you know, Trey Styles, which is Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character not to get involved with the gang life in the movie and of course you know Ice Cube you know tells him in the beginning and the movie <laughs> you wouldn't be able to sell that dope like you know Pops will kick your ass like he says that part in the movie still a great movie though and then here's another favorite of Lawrence Fishburne Deep Cover where he plays as an undercover cop <clears throat> But plays kind of like a drug dealer and that's why it's called deep cover to get the people busted pretending to be a drug dealer pretending to be a cop that's what Lawrence Fishburne's character says in the movie I also love the soundtrack of this movie too this is a great soundtrack to the movie one of my favorites by Lawrence Fishburne included with Jeff Goldblum <clears throat> classic film and I got this at the swap meet too when I saw it at the swap meet, Cypress Swap Meet in California by the Cypress College, I was so happy I got this film. I couldn't leave this movie. One of my favorites, too. And then here's Higher Learning with Michael Rappaport, Ice Cube, and Christy Swanson, Omar Epps. Tupac Shakur was supposed to play in this movie. Sally, it never happened, though. Because, you know, he got in trouble with the law. But the movie was still a great movie. But, shoot, I could imagine if Tupac being in this film... Shoot, with all the whole entire cast in here, especially with Chrissy Swanson, Ice Cube, you just, you know, even Busta Rhymes, shoot, that would have been a blast if Pac was in it. It just takes place at Columbus University, and of course Michael Rappaport plays as a misguided kind of character, but then he plays as a racist kind of character, kind of a similar Edward Norton type from American History X. And of course Lawrence Fishburne is a professor, Professor Phipps. Pips. <clears throat> Omar Etz accuses him of being in a UT, stands for Ungo Dom. Just because he's trying to teach him how to do corrections and proper grammar on his his assignment, his paper. <clears throat> Here's another movie with Sean Connery in it, Just Cause. <clears throat> it play he plays a Harvard Law professor. That's what uh, Sean Connery's character is. And then talking about a murder investigation, he reopens it and basing on a allegation that it confessed was cosired by a Maverick lawman, Lawrence Fishburne. I gotta rewatch this movie. Seen bits of it. I just gotta rewatch it again. It never hurts to rewatch a movie again. It never hurts to rewatch. Here's Hoodlum, based on Bumpy Johnson, the gangster of Harlem, New York. <clears throat> well, it takes place in the 1930s of New York at the time. And of course, you know, there's another mob in here, Lucky Luciano. He's played by Andy Garcia. Film right here. Ignore the glitch. I know. The glitch is annoying as shit. Don't even bother with it. 
But like I said, this is a classic movie too. Very excellent movie with Lawrence Fishburne and Andy Garcia and Tim Roth, Vanessa Williams, Cecily Tyson, <clears throat> and including uh, Shy McBride, Richard Bradford, Clarence Williams. And as a matter of fact, Clarence Williams and Lawrence Fishburne were in a movie together before Hoodlum. They were in the movie Deep Cover. <clears throat> There's another one, Always Outnumbered and Always Outgunned. Always Outnumbered, Always Outgunned. <clears throat> Just, you know, Lawrence, you know, he plays like a homeless kind of character in here. And life keeps getting in the way, but nothing stays in the way of a man with his mission. And he tries to, like, make it and get out of it. I haven't seen this one in a long time. Actually, I've watched it, actually, like, a week ago. <clears throat> of course, you know, he takes care of this one kid in the movie. He kind of treats him like a son in the film. <clears throat> and, of course, he goes off to a better school instead than being in the hood. You know, the inner city of South Central. Bill Cobbs is in this film, too. Natalie Cole, including. And Bill Nunn. And Lori Metcalf. Still an awesome movie, though. It's a TV film. And y'all should know this one. Morpheus. The Matrix. <clears throat> you take the red pill. You take the blue pill. The blue pill is so you never see things the same again. The red pill. To tell the truth. <clears throat> and of course, you know, he talks about... This is the world that, you know, you used to live in. And then he flips the the now same... Now, this is the world that we live, live in now. Classic film. Here's Apocalypse Now. I need to get the very original one. <clears throat> this is the 2001. It's the uh, Redux. <clears throat> Still a classic film, though. Sorry. Thought I was missing something. But, um, yeah, the apocalypse now. It's the 1979. That's the one I gotta go after. And once I go after it, I'll show you all on the DVD pickups. Keep moving on. Mystic River. That's another classic. And it's also <clears throat> produced by um, Clint Eastwood. Or directed by Clint Eastwood. Yeah, it's just a movie that just talks about friends who grew up in a working class of, in the city of Boston that drift apart. Of a terrible tragedy and the years brutal events years later the brutal events that reconnect them Jimmy's 19 year old daughter is coldly murdered Davis the suspect Sean now a cop scrambles to solve the crime before volatile that Jimmy takes the law into his own hands this is just a definitely masterpiece and you also got other actors on here Sean Penn Tim Robbins Kevin Bacon 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 Marcy Gay Harden and Lauren, uh, I mean, uh, Laura Linney, and of course, Lawrence Fishburne. There he is, right there. He's doing the murder crime scene right there, talking about it. <clears throat> and then here's another one Biker Boys. Haven't seen this in a long time. It's like another simulator Fast and the Furious, but it's dealing with motorcycles. I didn't even say this better than Fast and the Furious. <laughs> yeah, this is a classic too. Definitely a classic. <clears throat> so it's just, you know, about motorbikers racing. The undefeated and undisputed racing champion, Lawrence Fishburne. He is Smoke, the King of Cali. And his dominance in the title are challenged by the kid by Derek Luke, a fierce young racing prodigy, and this electrifying story of modern day daredevils in the ultimate race to win the survival of the fit fastest. Classic. 
classic stuff. Gotta rewatch it again. But I have seen bits of the movie. Just been a long time. There's another one. Matrix Reloaded. Y'all should know it. Morpheus. And here's Assault on Precinct 13. With Ethan Hawke and Ja Rule and John Leguizimo. And Maria Bello. And Drea de Mateo. Another classic I like watching right here. And then here's Matrix. Revolutions. Everything Matrix related. Y'all know Morpheus. And Aquila and the Beam. Another classic movie. I remember watching this in middle school. My junior high years. I remember watching this film. It was also, too, it's sad, too, because, you know, she lost her father in the movie. And, you know, she's learning how to spell words. And Lawrence Fishburne becomes, like, you know, the tutor to her to learn how to spell words. And she ends up winning the spelling bee. She goes through a lot of struggles in school, but she actually succeeds. Kiki Palmer. And then, of course, you got Angela Bassett. 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 <laughs> Every time I see Lawrence and Angela Bassett, that's it. Especially in Boys in the Hood, it kind of feels like, man. It feels like I see Reva and... <clears throat> and Furious, Jason Furious Styles, you know, appear in the movie again together. <laughs> just like, you know, what's love got to do with it, too. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, three movies that they appear together. Just three movies. They appear together. Just, it's so cool to see coincidences. To see the same actors appearing in other movies. Such a crazy coincidence. Awesome movie though. <clears throat> He's always been well known for his really strong, like, like he'll get up on you like kind of character when he's in his movies. He's very that. That's what he is. A militant, furious, kind of serious type person. You just wouldn't want to mess with Lawrence Fishburne like that. But he's still an amazing actor. He's done a lot of other movies too. He's even made a movie called <clears throat> Standoff and and um, oh yeah, the Freddy Krueger. There was a third one. He appeared in uh, Death Wish Part 2 including Willie and Phil. <clears throat> and Cowboy Curtis, he dressed up as Cowboy Curtis with Pee Wee Herman. And then Class Action, King of New York. He just did so many movies. There's like so many movies I still got to get a hold of his. I hope I could get Red Heat. That's another good movie because, you know, James Belushi and Schwarzenegger's in the film together. And then he also played the Silver Surfer from Fantastic Four. And then he also narrated the TMT TMNT, the Ninja Turtles of the 2007. Man, just so many movies, including Armored, Day of Days of Wrath, and Blackwater Transit, and then Ride Along, and then uh, Always Moises uh, Jones. Just so many movies, including Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Just man, so many I can name. Just too many classics. I mean, not classic, but just too many movies. But then classic at the same time, though. What is? And then he also did Michael Jordan's um, Max. He narrated that, too. Sorry again. Here it is, though. Found it. He narrated this, too, for the legendary Michael Jordan Max. What is your favorite Lawrence Fishburne movie? Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and comment. Follow your boy, NerdyRed23. And I'll definitely get back to y'all in the next video. God bless and stay safe. <clears throat> Keep watching Lawrence Fishburne's movies, y'all. Have a blessed morning, day, all of it together. Peace, y'all. Night.